Welcome back. We started solving this question in the previous video. We drew the addition and multiplication table for mode 15 on the set 3, 6, 9, 12. In this video, we are going to use the tables that we drew in the previous video to evaluate i 3 times 6 plus 3 times 9 and also find the truth set of n times into brackets n plus 3 is equal to 3. So let's begin. The first one says that we should use our table to evaluate 3 times 6 plus into bracket 3 times 9. So you have to find 3 times 6 from the table. From the table, 3 times 6 will give us 3. So the content of the first bracket, that is 3 times 6, will give us 3. So you have 3 plus you have to find 3 times 9 from the table. From the table, 3 times 9 will give us 12. So 3 times 6 will give us 3, and 3 times 9 will give us 12. So you will have 3 plus 12. From the table, 3 plus 12 is equal to 0. So 3 plus 12 will give us 0. So 3 times 6, we can find it from the multiplication table. 3 times 9, we can find it from the multiplication table. Then we will find 3 plus 12 from the addition table. From the addition table, 3 plus 12 will give us 0. The next part of the question says that we should use our tables to find the truth set of n times into bracket n plus 3 is equal to 3. We drew addition and multiplication tables for mode 15 on the set 3, 6, 9, 12. There are some values in the set 3, 6, 9, 12 that will satisfy this equation. To find those values, we are going to try them out one after the other. We will begin with the first one, which is 3. So when n is equal to 3. When n is equal to 3, n times into brackets n plus 3 will become 3 times into brackets 3 plus 3 because n is now 3. You have to find what is in the bracket 3 plus 3. So you go to the addition table. From the addition table, 3 plus 3 is 6. So this will become 3 times 3 plus 3 is now 6. So 3 times 6. To find 3 times 6, you go to the multiplication table. From the multiplication table, 3 times 6 will give us 3. So 3 times 6 is 3. We can see that n is equal to 3 satisfies this equation. Because when we substitute n is equal to 3 into the expression n times into bracket n plus 3, we are having a final answer of 3. So one of the numbers in this set that will satisfy the equation is 3. Let's try out the other numbers and see. The next one is when n is equal to 6. When n is equal to 6, n times into bracket n plus 3 will become 6 times into bracket 6 plus 3. We are going to find 6 plus 3 from the addition table. From the addition table, 6 plus 3 will give us 9. So you have 6 times 9. You will find 6 times 9 from the multiplication table. From the multiplication table, 6 times 9 will give us 9. But we know that from our equation, n times into bracket n plus 3 should give us 3. But here, when n is equal to 6, 6 times into bracket 6 plus 3 will give us 9. That means that 6 will not satisfy the equation, so n is not equal to 6. Let's try out the next number which is 9. When n is equal to 9, the expression n times into brackets 9 plus 3 will become 9 times into brackets 9 plus 3. 9 plus 3 from the addition table will be 9 plus 3 is 12. So you have 9 times 9 plus 3, which is 12. Let's find 9 times 12 from the multiplication table. From the multiplication table, 9 times 12 is 3. So we can see that 
n is equal to 9 will also satisfy the equation because when n is equal to 9, the expression 9 times into brackets 9 plus 3 will give us 3. So one of the values in this set that will satisfy the equation is 9. So we have seen that 3 will satisfy the equation and 9 will also satisfy the equation. Let's try out the last number, which is 12. When n is equal to 12. When n is equal to 12, the expression n times into brackets n plus 3 will become 12 times into bracket 12 plus 3. From the addition table, 12 plus 3 is 0. So you have 12 times 0. We don't have 0 in the set of numbers we used to draw the table. So we can't find 12 times 0 from the table. What this means is that n is equal to 12 will not satisfy the equation. So n is not equal to 12. From our calculations, we have seen that the two numbers that satisfies the equation n times into bracket n plus 3 is equal to 3 are 3 and 9. The question said we should find the truth set of this equation. So the truth set is n is such that n is equal to 3 and 9. Remember that when you are writing your truth set, you will put it in a curly bracket. So the truth set of the equation is n is such that n is equal to 3 and 9. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to learn how to solve questions involving binary operation and modular arithmetic. Bye-bye.